Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome to the Life Positive Show. Tonight, we have a very special guest with us. His name is Mr. Kalyan Kumar Jain. Uh, he is a celebrity angel card reader, life coach, trainer, and a retreat specialist. Uh, his clients range from the world of films, politics, business, spirituality, sports, media, to social work. They include names like Swami Chidadanda, Kailash Kher, Sahara Shri, Sanjay Dutt, Moni Roy, and many other people like them. So, Kalyanji, a warm welcome to the Life Positive Show. It's a great honor and pleasure to have you with us tonight. The readers of Life Positive are tuned in and they want to know everything about your life, your work, and what draws celebrities to you. So let me begin with uh, the first question. So tell us something about yourself and your journey in life till date. Uh, what has made you such a famous person or a person here? Good evening and namaste to all of you. Uh, what has made me famous that I am not famous at all. But the most important thing what you said was, ki, why do people consult me? People consult me because of the energies that are attuned to me due to certain spiritual practices over a long period of time, approximately 10 to 12 years now. And it's only because of angels that I am today where I am. So when we connect with angels, things get easier in life. And that has been the only journey for me so far. The day I started getting connected to my guardian angels, life got easier for me. And as life got easier for me, uh, I turned out to help others and make it into a profitable, spiritual, metaphysical business. That's Great. The... Wonderful. So what was that first instance that uh, drew angels to you or vice versa or you to angels? So was there a special turning point in your life when you felt that this realm of angels is opening for you or they are beckoning you, calling them to you, and you have a special message to deliver to the world through them? The turning point is always in each of our lives, a drastic change which comes. So for me, the change came when I lost my mother. And when my boarding school was going into losses, we, I and my wife, we were running a boarding school in Panchkini for a long time, for around 10, 12 years. And somehow things were not moving in, in the direction in which we wanted. And I, and I was always seeking help. I was always going to various places meeting various kinds of people and asking for guidance and showing my patrika and showing my palm and my date of birth and numerology and things like that. And over a period of time doing all these things, uh, one night, especially I got up at around three o'clock, there was some noise in my room and uh, it was a very vivid, it was a very surreal experience. And I felt that light, I felt the vision, which I will be unable to describe in words. But you can say that was one of the turning points. And the other turning point was uh, somehow making myself and finding a way to name Karuli Baba's ashram in 2014-15, somewhere during that period. Mm -hmm. That was also a turning point because mm -hmm. on the day after I visited his ashram, it seems as if I got a path. And I got the first step. And uh, that is how it started. I know there is a long story behind it, mm -hmm. but I am unable to put this into words many times because it is a very, very personal experience. It's, mm -hmm. it's a very in-depth kind of uh, exploration for me, mm -hmm. which I myself have not been able to understand so far because I always wanted to run a boarding school. I always wanted to teach kids and I've been in the education field for more than 25 years mm -hmm. and somehow one fine day I just decided to close it all I took a year's break I sent my wife and children to my in-laws place and that one entire year of travel mm -hmm. put my life into perspective going through going to all these energy vortex places like energy vortex places huh, like energy vortex places like yeah. Neem Karoli Baba's ashram the Darga of Nizamuddin Aulia uh, Mount Abu, many other places like that. So it was it it was quite an exploration of India's spiritual vortexes from where I could get little 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 uh, energy which helped me to find my way. 
Okay. And that energy eventually led you to which path of angels or something which was like cumulative in nature, which was a combination of not only angels, but several other things which have created the brand called Kalyan Kumar Jam today. Uh, it first led me to angels. I was walking in a mall mm -hmm. and I found the first card deck. Mm -hmm. And uh, through that card deck, I was able to understand what angels are. Then the second thing came in South Africa when I found a metal angel gifted by me, uh, sorry, gifted to me by some person randomly on the street. I Yet I am unable to fathom why this person chose me. And he just said, this angel is for you. It's a small metal angel which I have in my house. Mm. And uh, the third time I was doing a past life regression with Dr. Tripti Jain because of my problems. And in that regression, uh, my father, who was my, who was my teacher in my past life, gave me a thick copper coin, which has an, which had an elephant head on it. Mm. And I found the same coin in South Africa in a shop and I purchased it. There are so many synchronicities okay. taking place which we are unable to fathom many times. So it was angels first. And then I started seeing numbers, triple four, triple one, triple two in a line. And the meaning of numbers was just, uh, just not okay coming to me. That is when I enrolled myself in Doreen Virtues class for the first time in 2011. Another step would also be Louis says heal your life in 2015 for which I took the training. So you see every year there has been some of the other growth which has been taking place and we cannot pinpoint one instance. There have been many such instances. But the angels was the first experience mm -hmm. and then the second would be uh, the heal your life experience mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Okay, wonderful. So it, you, with angels you had certain metaphysical experiences also as you say which you say are you are unable to express because you are them, you are yourself unable to understand the depth uh, of them. Is it so? Or is, is it that you can share a few angel-related experience with our viewers tonight? Uh, I can, I can, I can. Please. So let's say that I want to do something and I have a question in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, if I close my eyes and if I meditate, intuitively I get the answer whether it is a yes or a no. If I want to go more deeper, I start writing and through the writing, I get a vision of a certain number or a lot of colors. After that is over, then I sit with my cards. And once the card reading is done, through the cards, I get my answers. In fact, for me, cards have been a major tool to connect with angels. There have been other tools also like the pendulum dowsing. There have been some other tools like space and directions. So when I'm in a particular direction and when I pray to an angel or an Ishtadev or a God, whatever you want to call it, or to, or to energy, my answers are much more clear, much more vivid, much more descriptive. So why, was your higher purpose in life also revealed to you uh, through the angels as to what your incarnation in this lifetime uh, was meant to be? Why are you on this path? Why are you doing whatever you're doing right now? So please share a little light on your, on the revelation uh, of your higher purpose in life. Higher like purpose would only be teaching because I've been teaching all my life. Hmm. So I normally joke with people earlier, I was teaching children in a boarding school. Now I'm teaching their parents. Hmm. And slowly, slowly teaching took the form of counseling and consulting which later on after my training and after developing certain skill sets and tools, it took the form of coaching. Mm. But it is not general life coaching, it is spiritual life coaching. Mm. So that would be one of the life purpose. And yes, I have got that uh, message through angels as well. Mm. But also in the past life regression, I have had many of them with Dr. Kutti Jain. So in the past life regression, it was always clear that there has been a pattern over the last around 300 years in various, in various uh, in lifetimes, life. incarnations, right? Yeah, thank you. Incarnations where I have always been 
taking, taking, and taking from people. So this lifetime is only to give, is only to share, is only to teach. And uh, to put it in a more subtle way, it's to create awareness. It's to create a deeper bonding between what you can see and what you cannot see. It's like taking the energy or connecting with the energy from the unknown and trying to explain it in simpler terms to the known. Mm. So I normally say that uh, if people ask me in a line, what do you do? I say that I try to connect to the unknown and I provide you guidance in the known way. So I just act as a channel. So that would be also one of the purposes of my life right now. Mm. And now it is fixed. I don't find it changing anymore. Okay. Uh, whatever changes had to happen have taken place in the last 30 years. Now it's clear. So let us uh, get back to the uh, old question that I had asked you. That there are millions of card readers across India and even abroad. I just want to know why in India it is celebrities who blocked it and not to others as much. Mm. What, draws what draws celebrities to you? Uh, blessings of Neem Karol. Blessings of Neem Karoli Baba, number one. Number two, a very deep study of angel therapy as a metaphysical modality. When I say angels, I'm not only talking about one card deck. I'm talking about 150 card decks of various types made by different, different people all over the world, which are used in different ways. So you have oracle cards, you have angel cards, you have angel tarot cards. And it's, it's a vast and a deep study of the past 10 years. And then that study has been mixed with colors, with numbers, with space energy, with directions, with planetary energies. So when you combine all these factors and the elements of the earth, that is earth, water, fire, then what happens is that the readings are much more accurate. They are much more to the point, much more focused. And therefore, when I read cards or when I do any kind of a uh, guidance, uh, guidance okay, session for people, whether mm -hmm. they are regular people or whether they are celebrities. Mm -hmm. I normally take 20 to 25 minutes for one question, whereas an astrologer or a normal card reader would take hardly two to three minutes or maybe only five minutes for a question. So I go through that question in six to seven different ways through the pendulum dowsing, through the color chart, through the energy grid of angel numbers. Mm -hmm. That is why what happens is you get you get a choice as to what your next step can be. It is not written in black and white that you have to do this and you will get this, but you get a choice. You get options as to where you can proceed further. That is what people like when they get options from the angels. They feel that plan A, plan B, plan C. So they get that uh, variety from me. Okay. Great. So Kalyanji, uh, visiting somebody like you who's an angel card reader or who's an expert in divination cards or who has a, has a very deep connection with the metaphysical world and the entities uh, belonging to that world. Anybody who approaches you, I think it becomes, their life becomes virtually an open book for you. You can read even those elements of their life which they are hiding, perhaps even from themselves. Now, mostly people who are in some kind of a trouble are in trouble because of those blockages in their life or where they are unable to see with their own mistakes or move beyond them. So how easy or difficult it is for you to see those blockages or see those mistakes and then point out to that individual that, see, it is your own making because of which you are suffering and Therefore, you kind of need to make a change in your mindset or an attitude or perhaps seek forgiveness from somebody who you may have hurt in the past to balance out your, uh, your karma and then move forward in life. Because I think that's the toughest part for any reader or any healer to make people aware of their own mistakes. Because every mostly people come for remedies that you, you know give suggest me certain or maybe stones or some name change or number change then my life will be all right. But I think the eventual work is a much deeper one. How do you manage to go about it? Especially when there are big people who are consulting. I'm sure they also have big egos. 
on a very serious note uh, privacy and confidentiality to the t is very very important in this mm. and on a very lighter note uh, someone recently told me treat this as your bread and butter don't try to think of yourself as if you are changing people's lives and you are transforming them people will transform and change themselves when they are ready you are just doing your job as a normal person is doing a job banker is going to the bank sports person is playing his sports politician is doing his politics bus driver is okay uh, driving the bus or whatever in the same way you are meeting people you are talking to them and you are telling them what it is they may like it they may not like it your job is done don't take it seriously otherwise you may falter and i follow that and having said that sometimes it becomes a burden because uh, so many secrets are shared and at other times even when people do not want to share their secrets through the cards and through the channeling uh, many things come to the fore and i am very very clear i tell them i will be blunt and if you do not like it please tell me to stop the reading there and then till date till date only two people in the entire 10 year career of my life only two people reading has backfired on me because uh, they may have gone out and shared everything and then it was a mess otherwise normally it is uh, it is very strict and it is very very confidential there is no recording there is no note i don't keep any files because once a reading is done once everything is told to them by god's grace within 2 to 3 days i forget everything what has come in the reading that has been one blessing for me from neem karoli baba as well as from the angels that i do not remember if i have read your cards and if i have told you anything after 2 3 4 days that's one very good thing but what you said is right that people do have egos and people do not want to listen at times i leave it there i i i cannot try to change anyone i provide the guidance on the table plan a plan b plan c you choose whatever you can and there have been clients who have not accepted things at all and then they have come back 3 years and 2 years afterwards and they have told ki this this happened this has happened uh, you had uh, guided us and you had told us it's it's their karmic debt which they are which they are fulfilling so okay. in short it's it's okay it's like a bread and butter you are doing your job i am doing my job at the end of the day uh the main person the person in charge of the house is going to ask me one question aaj kitna kama ke liye hai ghar ka kharcha nikalna hai if you use that basic fundamental principle that you are going to work and you are earning an income and you are taking care of your expenses then you will not falter in this profession at all be it any kind of a healing modality and for me one more thing for me it has been very important that i have got the best people in life always whether it was my school teachers my college professors my friends and even now all the healers and the mentors who are not only my colleagues but also my teachers dr g l sampurna dr trupti jain sneha and shashank from heal your life so many of them are there gorav is there from the law of attraction many of these so they when we talk to each other they all keep us grounded that is the best part and it is good to be associated with the right kind of people in this circle when you are doing any kind of healing or creating awareness work i would not call it healing work i would call it creating awareness because basically we don't heal anyone the person heals himself that is the uh, way it is acha kabhi aisa hua hai kalyan ji that aapne kisi ke cards dekhe aur aapko saaf dikhai de gaya ki you know there's an impending divorce agar inhone ye cheeze nahi sahi kari to inka या तो तलाक हो जाएगा या इनके घर में कोई ना जल्दी ही भगवान के पास चला जाएगा या ये खुद जा सकते हैं तो ये चीजें मेरे ख्याल से किसी को सजेस्ट करना या बताना ये नहीं बताएंगे तो भी आप फंस जाएंगे आप बताएंगे तो भी प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है ऐसे टाइम पे फिर आप कैसे डिसीजन देते हैं Hmm. and i told him uncle you have very less time please complete everything whatever is pending hmm. uh, that was i think the 22nd of march hmm. and uncle passed away on the 22nd of may so sometimes i'm just not able to hide it i have to be in your face and i have to tell them they may take it with a pinch of salt it's up to them hmm. but but this happens every every week 
in so at least in one of the readings what you said especially in relationships mm. especially in divorce and especially in legal disputes mm. legal disputes it's very very clear ki these people you are not going to win the case or you are going to win the case or whatever it is because it is a part of their karma which they are mm. going through and which even angels can't change and they would not like to change because they would love to love for you to learn that lesson once you learn that lesson then it is gone for you na no? so it's like that so it's i am as i told you it is just a uh, channeling way i'll tell it i will just tell it to you then if you like it fine if you don't like it also i can't do anything about it so has it, it happens happened, many times that, has it ever happened that people have really stormed out of your therapy room after listening to something <laughs> which you have told them and which was not to their liking and kind of they said uh, what are you uh, really? don't believe you and i lot come ever come back and yet these people have again come back have swollen their egos because eventually go proven right so uh, then how how do you kind of you know meet them when they come back to you i meet them as normally as possible there is no ego of any kind at all there was a lady who threw a glass at me 3 years ago and she stormed out of my reading room uh, there was a lady who sent me abusive messages and voice messages on my whatsapp from bangalore around 6 years ago oh my god and, uh, and 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 it goes on it happens you can't help it there was even a model who 3 years ago sir, said you are you are talking all like x y z you know this is all this 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 and then 3 years ago she comes and she says now what to do i said i don't know what to do let us sit for a reading and let's see what can be done 3 years already you have lost so it happens many times it's fine this is a part and parcel of our game of our life okay but yeah the, the 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 lady who threw the glass was very dangerous i had to i had to literally uh, so protect her. myself at that time yeah. oh, that's that is like one of those hazards of being a yes it yes, is yes. part and also parcel of the game because i'm sure there are flip sides also of of, have... of of trying to show the people the mirror it's a part and parcel it's like i'm acting as a mirror you look at me and you look at your own self you look at your cards and you look at your own self and it is true for me as well many times out of my uh, grand ego and things like that i okay wanted to conduct a big training and this and that and then i see my cards and my cards suggest a year from now and i'm like oh my god what to do now a year from now i have to wait another year and i go ahead and i do that training to have only four participants then i learn my lesson i have also done those mistakes yes okay so don't you feel uh, a little uh, constrained by these cards that you don't have that liberty to take the right the kind of action you want to simply because the prediction is not in your favor and somehow your life is now kind of changed in a certain way uh, because you are always being either guided or being kind of you know to you're told to be aware or not take a certain step i'm sure many people depend on their intuition while making decisions but in your case things are quite direct in nature where the guidance will come in a very straightforward manner so do you ever feel kind of constrained by them that i have lost my freedom to act the way i wanted to because this mm, no i i i disagree with that because angels give you your free will there is free will and they give you your power of choice as i told you it is not completely predictive in nature it is a guidance system it is based on intuition it is based on energy and having said that this is a very good question what you have asked energy can be changed your fate cannot be changed but energy can be changed and energy changes every full moon day every new moon day based on so many other planetary positions as well but when i work with angel therapy i base i mostly work with the lunar energies so every purnima and every amavasya every full moon day and every new moon day energy changes so maybe what has come for you 15 days before because you were in that state of mind and you attracted that energy can change a bit 10 20 30% after maybe two full moons or two or two new moons if you do the release work if you do certain uh, manifestation work certain affirmations certain visualizations angels do give you all that mm. there are angels who have specific visualizations specific affirmations use of essential oils use of crystals and all these when they are combined together they form a cohesive healing pattern mm. cohesive metaphysical modality which helps you to change the frequency of your energy yes 
it is possible completely over here i would just like to add something let's say that you give me your date of birth now your date of birth is fixed in life okay you cannot change your day and date of birth based on your date of birth an astrologer will make your chart which will consist of 12 houses and your fate is set in stone right uh, you also believe that do you know yes or no to some extent, extent. Not, okay. not to not to uh, each and every extent otherwise man is totally at the disposal of right. the I, I don't think right that. right 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 so uh. when when astrology says ki everything is set in those 12 houses at the time of your birth it also says that in certain ways through certain means methods rituals and learning or methodologies you can change the frequency and the energy of the planet which is afflicting you either it is a benefic planet or it is a malefic in the same way i put this way ki let's say ki uh, 50% of your life is based on astrology and on your birth chart and your and on your date of birth okay let's work on the other 50% which is not based on that so then your numbers come into play okay your mobile number the number of your house in which you live okay then your bank account number then your name your parents may have given you a name but if you change your name to a certain lucky uh, lucky okay combination. combination then also the frequency and the energy of your name changes then again you come down to the colors which you are using daily okay after the colors you will come to the uh, the space in which you are operating the space energies of your house are very important that is why every time people tell you to do clutter clearing mental clutter clear uh, mental as well as physical clutter clearing so all these do play an important part so 50% of your energy and frequency can be changed and is meant to be changed every new moon and every full moon day therefore i love working with the energies of the moon and when you combine the energies of the moon with the angels it gives you an amazing result lovely so uh, kalyan ji also tell us that what do uh, angels have to say about the current times the crisis which the humanity is undergoing which is visible everywhere in every corner of the world so what uh, do the angels say about it what what is the message for humanity They that ask. is a very tricky question uh but i'll answer it i don't know much of it and uh, it's going to go on for a long time changes are going to take to take place on the planet energies are going to change you had changes in 2012 you have changes in 2020 you have changes in 2029 you have changes in 2032 2050 if you study the literature of all the spiritual people over the years a certain incidents like the okay like these have been uh, i would not say predicted but have been put forth in their work where you can understand that uh, times are changing and the planetary energy as a whole is changing because we are moving into a higher dimension it's a cliche when people say that we are moving into a higher dimension but it is true a lot of things which are not meant for us are going to collapse a lot of institutions uh i would not name but a lot of institutions which have been causing mankind to suffer or have been trying to constrict the life and freedom of mankind are going to collapse so you will see that uh, that a lot of banks are also merging into one another this is also a part of the planetary change in the same way there will be certain other institutions a certain other lifestyles habits of the people they are going to change and there will be a more awareness which we could not have dreamt of 20 years from now or 20 years before i'm sorry 20 years before so it is going to change and angels are continuously guiding towards that the more we listen intuitively the more we go within the more better for all of us so uh, what is your judgment of the of people being open to this kind of exploration of their inner world do you see that there are more and more people who want to go within and want to explore their inner world and get in alignment with the coming new order or you do you see that there is still a lot of resistance in people with regard to uh, getting aligned with higher frequencies that are entering into our current world 
there is a lot of resistance lots and lots of resistance and over a period of time people will be forced to accept the changes as they have been forced to live behave and accept certain things in the last two years mm. so if you resist either you will persist or you will learn how to live with the times but there is lot of resistance you can put the resistance up to around 60% mm. so do you uh, see that in the coming times this level of resistance will go down a little bit forced by the circumstances because we there are still 40% people who are willing to do that inner work and the 60% can be pushed a little further say maybe uh bring it to 40% efforts are on efforts are going on <clears throat> and the more the people become aware it is going to happen it will take its own time mm. and <clears throat> we we as humans especially i cannot uh, i cannot okay comment on this as such because uh, if you talk in broader terms chaos is what is required because chaos is the thing that brings normalcy uh, eventually to the planet yeah yeah eventually eventually yes. the these things are meant to happen and collective consciousness has been at a very low frequency for a very 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 long time so the time has come so the more sooner we wake up all we need to do is just go within and just listen to what our intuition is telling we are becoming more and more intuitive and more and more spiritual in nature okay uh, uh, kalyan ji also please explain about your uh, workshop called towa which is uh, called teachers of visualizations and affirmation so i think this is the latest retreat which you would be holding for people who are interested in learning from you so what is towa and uh, what do you intend to teach in this program okay the towa yeah the full form of towa is teacher of visualization and affirmation so if you see basically you are being taught about visualization and affirmation which every person every healer every spiritual modality is teaching you about visualization as well as affirmation what is different in towa that's a good question the difference in towa is when you try a general visualization and when you try a general affirmation it works faster for some but it does not work for many people there are affirmations which do not work for many people at all because affirmations will work only when the other energy has been cleared for example your space energy you go into a cluttered house and you sit over there and you do an affirmation i want to be rich and i want to feel abundant and i want to buy a car it does not work because the surrounding space energy is not reflecting the energy of that affirmation at all that is space energy then there are affirmations which people feel if they just write down 10 times and 20 times and even 108 times they will come true because they write that affirmation in the morning and they are the same what they are throughout the day how is that affirmation going to work it is not going to work so the number comes into play over there or the energy throughout the day comes believe it or not planets do influence your life now when you talk about planets and if you do certain affirmations and visualizations while taking planetary energy into uh, consideration yes then the result is much more better then comes the direction you cannot face the south direction and do an affirmation for abundance because the south direction is in is in itself considered inauspicious by many in india so when i went through all these things i learned ki and i practiced on my own as well standing in a different direction and practicing the different affirmation like i stood in the northeast corner which is the temple corner of a house which is the ishanya what you call it and i did my affirmations over there and they manifested much faster so for me it worked then i did it a certain number of times with certain colors for example when i used green and purple while writing more affirmations they were much more effective rather than using black and red all these things come into play in towa the energy which is measured through pendulum dowsing for an affirmation comes into play in towa and the best part of towa is i was influenced by the mai sabha in the mahabharata by in the mai sabha mai sabha is a small aspect of mahabharata which talks about illusion and intuition hmm. so if i close my eyes it is there 
if i open my eyes it is not there so if i close my eyes right now i can visualize my new beautiful home or a new car or my life partner because i am visualizing it with the subconscious mind if i open my eyes that thing is not there because my conscious mind is dealing so the mahasabha in the mahabharata gave a beautiful explanation ata ahe ani ata nahi that part gave rise to tova then when i went deeper i discovered that abhimanyu was given the entire war battle game plan when he was in his mother's womb we all know the mahabharata story but somehow by the time she could give him the ending she could uh, transfer or transmute the energy of the ending to him the the the, the energy pattern or the cord was lost and there was a disturbance and therefore abhimanyu was not able to come out of the chakra view had he been given that we would have had a different mahabharata that was again a a very beautiful example of an affirmation and a visualization gone wrong at the last moment because you reach the first second third fourth fifth step and you don't have the sixth step and then you collapse then there is another example of eklavya and tornacharya as well he formed an affirmation in his own mind that he is my guru and i am going to worship him and i am going to do it that is also so sometimes you may not have a guru or you may not have found your guru you may not have a mentor that is when the tova helps you even if you have a guru and a mentor also tova helps you but tova teacher of visualization and affirmation is based on the ancient indian science of transmuting energies from one form to another through affirmations and visualizations but taking into account all the elements of nature you will take into account fire agni you will take into account water pani you will take into account earth soil wind as well so after taking the elements of nature after taking the numbers the colors the planets the space energy and the directions you will get a beautiful modality in which your affirmation by god's grace will never go wrong and your visualization will be manifested 100 times faster than a normal visualization then or than a normal law of attraction as well hmm. yes okay so if like we learn everything which is taught by you in tova workshop so then how fast will the manifestation happen as compared to when you do it alone and by yourself can you just give us a broad understanding of how how fast can the manifestation happen maybe 10 days 15 days a month or even you know earlier than that or longer than that uh i'll give you a recent example hmm. i wanted to associate with life positive and uh, i wanted to conduct a training and a workshop with them mm. and i visualized i wrote my affirmations i did it took me only 46 days to reach where we are today and it happened yeah it was a new moon uh, two new moons and one full moon yeah new moon will be amavasya two amavasyas and one purnima to reach this yeah there was a background thinking in my mind for a long time 6 7 months but the entire process took me 46 days and i i think on the 46th day on the 46th day i was already in delhi sitting in front of you and the chairman i think it was the 46th day yes i'm going to calculate it and i'll tell it to you but i think it, it was the 46th pretty fast and i think you know i think maybe even in life positive you are doing something right that we were able to cross each other's paths and enter into a wonderful collaboration with each other so this is for my viewers please make note of it that life positive uh, in collaboration with kalyan jain will be holding this uh, tova program which is called teachers of visualizations and affirmations in uh, four or five different cities uh, with uh, including delhi kolkata bangalore indore and uh, one more which mumbai I'm, mumbai I'm, mumbai so so please uh, the the link will be given in the description box the date and time everything uh, will be is there in the description box please go there click register and make the best use of mr kalyan jain's knowledge uh, he he has a bank of huge knowledge which can change anyone's life who approaches him uh we all are struggling we know and a little help from the angels uh will be very much appreciated by each one of you i'm sure 
Mr. Kalyan Jain is there as their emissary, there to help you change your life, are, make it happier, better. Those are two high words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Right, thank you. So, uh, because, so, so please, please make the best use of this opportunity, register for it, and see how your life changes for the better. I would like to add one thing here, mm -hmm. if I may. Life Positive has been a beacon for the last 25 years. And it is only through Life Positive that in my first exhibition, I got a line of clients. There was a waiting, there was a waiting list of clients at my stall for card reading in 2014, 15, somewhere there. And it was from there that, that, that the journey started to be much more bigger in a way. So Life Positive has given me a very good platform over the years and I'm so grateful to it. I'm grateful to each and every contributor, each and every reader of Life Positive as well. And I pray every day that it, that Life Positive continues to have milestone after milestone. That is my wish for it, which I have even told you personally as well, if you remember. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Kalyanji. Yes, as the name Life Positive suggests, our aim is to imbue everyone's life with positivity and in the process make our, our own lives also equally positive with the help of people like Mr. Kalyan Jain who are going to be literally a friend for to us for life. We continue, we hope to continue to bring more such programs for you uh, which are going to uh, simplify your life. Thank you so much Kalyanji for being with us on the show tonight. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. It was a great opportunity to explain myself and my work. Thank you so much.